Throughout the C programming series, I've been sticking to text mode. So either I've been writing utilities that scroll text up from the bottom of the screen. So things like, uh, you know, type and more, you basically your basic FreeDOS programs, uh, or uh, using uh, Con.io and Graph.h to be able to draw directly to screen. And that allows me to create my own text windows and use colors and things like that. Uh, some of you have asked, how do we do the same thing but do it in graphics mode? How do we actually draw in graphics? And so I want to do a couple of quick demonstrations here to show you how to draw in graphics mode using Open Watcom. So let's get started. Uh, now here I've got an empty directory. So let's go ahead and start a new program. Uh, we'll call this one uh, rect.c. Of course, we're going to draw some rectangles. Uh, so we're going to uh, uh, start with an include. And because we're doing graphics, we're going to need to include graph.h. Uh, but I'm also going to need to do a, a get ch later on so I can uh, sort of wait for a key press. And so for that, I'm going to do an include uh, conio.h. Uh, now, by the way, why am I putting conio before graph.h? It doesn't really matter uh, what order you put them in. It's just that I'd like to have them more or less alphabetical uh, with the standard IO and standard lib uh, up on top. Uh, that just for me allows me to kind of keep track of what's where. Uh, so if you're curious as to why I put conio first, that's why. Uh, now let's go ahead and do our main function. Now I don't need to parse the command lines. So we're going to have an empty parameter list here. And uh, now we need to set our video mode. So uh, when you set the video mode, uh, you're going to need to have, uh, you can use a couple of different parameters. Uh, if, to, to use graphics mode, the ones you want to pay attention to are things like uh, underscore uh, vres 16 color. And so that's going to give you uh, VGA at uh, 16 colors. Um, and that's going to be 640 by 480. Uh, you can also use SVRES 16 color. And that's going to give you an SVGA at 16 colors. And that's going to be, uh, because the SVGA is going to be uh, 800 by 600. SVGA is, of course, the Super VGA. Uh, you can also do SVRES 256 color. And that's going to give you an SVGA display at 256 colors, as you might guess. And because it's SVGA, it's still 800 by 600. And then you're going to have uh, XRES 16 color. That's another common one. And that's going to give you uh, a super VGA display, SVGA. Uh, and obviously that's uh, 16 colors. And because it's uh, X uh, VGA or SVGA at that higher, higher resolution, it's going to be 1024 by 768. And as you might guess, the other one uh, option there is XRES 256 color, and that's going to give you uh, an SVGA uh, level display at 256 colors, and that's going to be 1024 by 768. So those are the, the most common graphics modes that you'll probably end up using uh, to draw graphics. Uh, now let's go ahead and do a loop. Um, so I need to do a uh, let's, let's, I need an integer uh, variable here. So we'll do uh, int color, and then um, let's do our our for loop. So we're going to iterate across all the colors. Now remember when we were doing it in text mode, uh, you could set only eight colors for the foreground and I'm sorry, uh, eight colors for the background and all 16 colors for the foreground with graphics, that limitation is lifted. It's all 16 colors, it's all 2D6 colors. So uh, here we need to, uh, actually before I iterate across all colors, I need to set the video mode. So let's go ahead and set uh, video mode. And uh, let's, let's start out on the simple side and we'll do uh, VRES 16 color. Uh, let's go ahead now and iterate across all the colors. So we're going to do a for loop, and we'll start at color uh, equals zero, because remember this is 16 colors, but they start at zero. Uh, colors less than 16, and then color plus plus. And now we need to go ahead and set the color. And remember, we did this with our with our text. Whenever we need to set color for text, we had a we had a set text color function, or we had a set BK color uh, function to set the foreground and background colors. Uh, to set the color of a shape that we're going to draw, it's just set color. Uh, 
And so now we give it the color name. And now we need to draw uh, a shape. And so we're going to draw a rectangle. So draw a rectangle. So how do we draw a rectangle? So uh, you're going to use a function called rectangle. As you, uh, if you could check the documentation, you can see all the different uh, shapes you can make. But we're going to draw a rectangle here. Um, now when we are doing um, text locations, uh, back when we were, we were doing this with the, uh, the simple Sinet game, uh, we were always doing uh, row and then column, which uh, translates to a Y and an X coordinate. It's actually not how that works with uh, drawing rectangles and drawing shapes. You actually are, instead of doing a Y, X, you're doing an X, Y. And actually, before we do that, we need to define if we're going to be uh, drawing a filled rectangle or, an, or a border rectangle. So if we're going to draw just the, the border on my rectangle, I'm going to use uh, underscore G border. Oops, one R. Uh, or if I wanted to fill the whole thing, which in this case I, I do want to fill the whole thing, I'm going to do uh, G underscore G fill interior. And then you're going to need the initial XY coordinates, and then you're going to need the ending XY coordinates. Now, again, uh, another difference when we were doing text. With text, it was that row column, but uh, the origin started at 1, 1, right? Remember, the upper left corner was, was 1, 1, uh, and then the bottom right was 25th row and then the 80th column. Uh, that's not how it works in graphics. Again, graphics starts as, as X, Y, and the origin is 0. So if we wanted to uh, draw something that filled the entire screen, uh, we need to start at 0, 0, and uh, we're running at uh, VRES 16 color, which remember was 640 by 480. And so it actually goes to 639 by 479. And so that's our uh, drawing the rectangle. Now let's go ahead and uh, just wait for a key um, so I can uh, see what I've drawn. And we're going to do, oops, for that we're going to do just a, a get ch. Uh, and then uh, once I've iterated through all those uh, 16 colors, I'm going to go ahead and uh, Set the video mode back to the default. So we'll go ahead and do uh, set video mode uh, to default mode. And then from there, we can turn back the operating system. So let's go ahead and compile that program. Just to remind ourselves, by the way, what we're doing. Uh, so up here, we've got uh, just a comment block that reminds us what the different video modes are. Uh, this is now setting the video mode to that VGA 640 by 480 uh, at 16 colors. And we're going to iterate through all the different colors. We're going to set that color, and then we're going to draw a rectangle with that color that goes from 0, 0 to uh, 1 minus the 640 by 480. So in this case, 639 by 479. And then uh, we're going to wait for a key. Uh, and then uh, we're going to switch to the next color, or we're going to switch to, and, and then exit the program. So let's go ahead and compile that. So we'll do a save and quit. And we'll do a uh, WCL, Watcom uh, Compiler and Linker, on rect.c. And I'm not seeing any errors, so that's good. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, run uh, rect. And so this is black. Remember the different colors that we have? This is uh, black, so that's why it's a blank screen. It's not broken. It just actually is waiting for uh, a key press. I'll hit space. You can see it goes to blue and green. Cyan, red, purple. Uh, this would be yellow, but in this case it's brown. And then uh, this is color number seven, which is uh, sort of a, a, a light gray. Uh, now we're going into the higher levels. After this, it's, we're going into color eight, which is uh, technically color called a bright white color, or a bright uh, black color, I take that back. So it's really kind of looking like a darker gray in this case. Uh, and then the brighter versions of the different colors after that. So there's our bright uh, blue, our bright green, our bright uh, cyan, our bright red, our bright purple. And then we're going to get uh, not a bright brown, but remember this is actually just yellow. And then from there I'm getting a bright white, which is uh, pure you know, white. All the, all, all the colors are firing, and so we're getting a full intensity white on that one. Hit space, and I'll go back to uh, the text prompt. And as you can see, that's how I can draw... Uh, different shapes on the screen. And uh, if I wanted to, I could I could run that in, let's go ahead and just do a quick uh, fed on rect.c. And rather than running at vres16 color, 
uh, let's set that to uh, X res uh, 256 color. Uh, I'm going to leave the colors uh, running the way they are, and we'll just uh, go through all 16 colors, and we'll go ahead and compile that. So save and quit. Uh, now, again, this is uh, 640 by 480. It's the size of the uh, uh, the rectangle, but it's actually going to be drawing on a 1024 by 768 screen. So we're actually going to be taking up only part of the screen. Uh, so just expect that. So WCL uh, rect.c, and now we can run rect. And so again, this is our black rectangle uh, against a black background, so you're not seeing anything. So I hit space. And you can see there's our blue, our green, cyan, red, purple, brown, not yellow, it's brown, and our, our gray. And then after that, we're going to get our high intensity colors, and that's our bright gray, our bright black, uh, and that's our bright blue, bright green, bright cyan, bright red, bright purple. Not bright brown, but this is the yellow color, and then we get after that a bright white. And now I hit space, and now I exit back to the operating system. As you can see, that's how we can draw these uh, these different shapes. Um, and uh, you know, you can you can draw all kinds of things on here. You can draw uh, messages. Let me add one more thing here for a message. Uh, so I'm going to just update our fed uh, rect dot c, and. Uh, Let's let's draw a text message just to remind us what we're doing. So I'm going to um, I'm going to go ahead and create a prompt uh, that's going to be a, a character um, value, a string, uh, and we'll just call it prompt. And how wide should that be? Uh, it won't be any longer than 80. This is a demo program, so I'm not going to worry too much about how wide I'm making this string. Uh, now I'm going to I'm going to do an S print off. That means I need to have include standard I/O, uh, and uh, that will be uh, down here. I need to create a prompt for that. So before I set the color, uh, let's um, let's do um, a uh, let's set the color always to set color always set that one to seven which is the low intensity white and now i'm going to uh, move to and now this must be put a message on the screen anywhere that i want so i'm going to move this down to uh, what x y coordinate well we'll start this at uh, one so it's not quite oops uh, one so it's not quite up uh, nudged to the next uh, left hand side of the screen uh, I've got quite a number of um, X to play with because remember my my uh, rectangle only goes to 480, but I got 768, so we'll put this one at uh, 600. And I want to go ahead and output a message. Now I'm going to output uh, that using out g text, and then my prompt. Now I, I need to fill in my prompt first. So let's go ahead and do uh, an s printf. Uh, and uh, I'll just say this is color. Oops, I want to put this into a string. So uh, there's my prompt. And then I'm going to use the the, the color uh, is, and then um, that's the color number. And then I'll I'll just say press any key uh, uh, for next, right? And then what color am I on? There's color. And so now I've filled in a prompt variable. Uh, and then I've set the color to always be seven. That's that low intensity white. I'm going to always put it down at this XY coordinate, one in 600. I'm going to output this text. Now, uh, you can load fonts. And I'll leave that to you to discover in the documentation for OpenWatcom. I'm going to uh, just use the default uh, font, which is, uh, as you'll see, kind of a regular blocky text. Um, and uh, so it's going to print that prompt, and then it's going to uh, then set the color so it can draw the rectangle, and then it's going to draw the rectangle, and it's going to wait for a key. And that's all I'm doing here. Uh, I'm all done here is just added a, a prompt on here so we can actually see how to draw text on the screen. And so let's go ahead and uh, save and do WCL rect.c. And I'm not seeing any errors on there, so we can run rect. 
And there's my uh, my text down there at uh, one and six hundred. So it's uh, uh, the first column over. So it's not nudged exactly on the left hand side of the screen. It's six hundred, so I have quite a bit of space to play with. Those uh, characters should all be. Uh, I think they're all eight by eight. You can check the documentation for that. But I think they're all eight by eight. Uh, and so this is telling me color is zero, and that's why I'm getting a black rectangle. Uh, and my color, oh, you know, this is all, all going to uh, draw on, t on top of one another. So uh, we're going to get a whole blob here of text. Uh, you can see that color is, that's becoming a square. Why is that becoming a square? Well, it's because it's filling in uh, lots of different text and it's just drawing over one another. Uh, normally, if we're doing this in text mode, um, and now we've gone on to uh, 10 and now 11. Uh, and so that's why it's, it's drawing over itself. And so uh, it's it's uh, normally in text mode, uh, you can very safely do that because it's just characters and it'll uh, overwrite itself. Uh, here, we're actually drawing to a graphics display. And so we need to clear out that space. Let's go ahead and uh, do a quick update on that. So we'll do fed on, on rect.c. Um, and so before I set, before I display my prompt, Let's real quick clear that space. So we'll do a set color and uh, we'll do this with a uh, blue background. So that'll be color one. And I'm going to draw a rectangle. Um, and this will be a uh, what I used down here. That was the uh, G fill interior. So do it over here. G fill interior. And where do I want that to be? Um, I think that should be uh, move to, we'll start drawing at the top of that rectangle. So I'm going to start at uh, zero in this case. We'll actually, we'll draw all the way out of uh, one character or one pixel to the left. And we'll start that at, uh, let's do it at 590. So that's going to be uh, 10 uh, pixels before the start of uh, my text. And where do I want this to go? Well, I'm, I'm drawing in, uh, remember, I'm in, I'm in 1024 by 768, so I can go all the way over to uh, 1023, and uh, I'm putting my text again at 600. Uh, at 608, that should be, I can remember, because I think they're 8 by 8, so 608 uh, should be the, uh, the bottom of my text, and so I want to draw 618, so it'll be 10 beyond it. And just like I did 590, where it was 10 above, this will be 10 beyond. Uh, and if I if I have this wrong, then uh, we'll we'll see that the rectangle is a little bit off uh, kilter a little bit. And so uh, all I've done here is I've now drawn a blue rectangle, uh, which effectively wipes out the text, the prompt that was there before. And then I'm going to draw another prompt on top of it. And that's what I'm doing there. So we'll go ahead and save and quit. We'll do WCL rect.c. And we'll go ahead and compile and run. Uh, rect. And so there's my uh, prompt down there uh, with my blue, blue bar that runs all the way across the screen from left edge to right edge. Uh, and then every time I press space, you can see it's <clears throat> it's wiping, erasing my, uh, my prompt. Uh, and that allows me to uh, uh, draw another one on there without having all of my different characters drawing one on top of another. As I keep pressing space, you can see that it's always redrawing that prompt. And it's very, very fast. Just because we're running a graphics mode doesn't mean it has to run slow. We're actually uh, drawing pretty quickly here. Uh, and so this allows me to iterate up through all the different 16 colors, uh, 0 through 15. And so there I am on 15. I can hit space and it'll end the program. So uh, I'm just going to go ahead and pause there. So that's uh, sort of some simple ways to draw in the uh, using open Watcom in graphics mode. If you check out the uh, open Watcom documentation, you can see all the different uh, functions and I'll put a link in the description to that. Uh, before I go, I just wanted to thank everyone on Patreon who's supporting me. You really do make this channel happen. Uh, some of you are supporting me at a higher level and I wanted to thank you here. So thank you very much for that. Uh, visit our website at freedas.org. Join us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter and consider supporting me on Patreon. Thank you.